Tally ho! YouTube. Another gold update for you. This is Thursday morning. Um, I had a whole bunch of pots to do. That's kind of what it looked like. Like a pinkish color. Um, I've already done one, two, three, four, five pots filtered through. Um, it was all kind of that nasty color, which I got to that. So I'm making good progress today. But it just takes a lot to filter that to get to that. To get to that. So this was all the stuff that I had yesterday. So there's quite a bit in there. It's pretty thick. But if you um, put some water in it, I told you yesterday it looks like a snow globe. Let me put a little bit of water in here. I'm going to filter this a thousand more times anyway. Um, then I might just put it in clean acid and heat it up a little bit and that will clear it up a lot. Also, there's still some trash in there, but that will come out when I dissolve it. So if you take a little glass stirrer, let's see if you see it. Let's see if when you mix it up, it looks like a snow globe. Get the numbers out of the way. So that's nice and thick. There's a lot in there. See how fast it settles down? That's how heavy it is. You still get some that floats on the top, but the majority of it will. Uh, go to the bottom. I'm going to... Put that in the sink and probably overflow it. And all my gold will go down the drain, and the city will be have a golden sewer. So, I didn't get no work done outside yesterday because I played with this stuff all day. But I only have uh, this to filter out. That'll probably take me about another half hour. This is pretty well, this can go in here. Um, then I have one more of those nasty green ones from yesterday. That's going to take me about an hour. But ain't that cool? That looks pretty neat. See, so the water's still kind of dirty in there. So we'll filter this a couple more times. Get it nice and clean. But that's my, my gold snow globe. Now watch how fast it'll settle. See on the top how it's light? It all falls to the bottom. If I was on drugs, that would be pretty awesome. Sit there and watch it. But, yeah, so that's what that looks like when it's just in the water. But yeah, I still have um, uh, this one here, which has got a lot of crap floating at the top of it, but that's alright. Um, there's still some on the bottom there. And then I have this disaster. Um, I did the two pots yesterday, and that pretty much took me nine hours, almost ten hours to do. And I put some more water in here. And uh, you can kind of see the orange in there, how it's turning different colors. It went from blue to white to, or not white. It's almost the same color as the bucket. But there's still, yeah, there's still a lot of gold in there floating around. So, as I said, this is going to take me till either tonight or sometime tomorrow. So in the meantime, I'm pulling all the, uh, the caps off the bottoms here. Um, depending if I decide to refine them. If I decide to refine them, they're already decapped because you have to take them off of this. Um, but either way, if I decide to refine them, they're ready to go. Or if I decide to sell them, um, I can get a few dollars more a pound because I already took them off the base. And the base actually has gold on it, but it takes forever <coughs> to get the gold off. Uh, I got some somewhere. I think they're over here. Oh, I got all my YouTube mugs over here sitting. 
I gotta find somewhere to put those. I got a couple more. I found out some other people have uh, merch, so I have to get some of their mugs if they got mugs. But these are the bottoms um, that I have piled up. Even some. But quite a few. There's all kinds of stuff in here. A uh, piece of a leaf. Okay. But see, that's a memory stick that's all got gold on the back, so. But all this stuff here I'll just put into a, uh, its own little vat and process it all. When I get a boatload of it, which it don't take long to get a lot of it. Ugh. Ooh, geez, I almost tripped. Isn't that a shocker? But that's uh, my gold update for today. Like I said, I'm going to just tinker with these and finish taking the tops off of these here. That one's, oh, these two are already off, so that works. Put them in there. There are some loose ones. But these are pretty heavy. They add up really quick. Yeah, for $50 a pound. Like I said, one pound of these yields about $100 in gold. So, you know, the bigger they are, the better. So, if you ever see gold corner BGAs, which is this with the gold corner on it, take them off. Save them. Let me know. I'll buy them off you. If you don't know what to do with them, pile them up. I'm not going to give you $50 or $40 a pound, but I'll buy them off you. So, oh, let's do a weather check. What do we got today? Oh, another beautiful cloudy day. Lovely. Not too bad out here. Uh, I think it's only supposed to be like 48 today. And then it's supposed to start warming up. And no, I did not do anything with this mess. Look at this. Look at it. Are you looking? You see it? Somebody needs to come and help me. Anybody. I don't care who it is. Anybody. I still haven't used my new work table. So I'm gonna get get this going here. I wanna give it a shot. I'm gonna put um totes under here like this one. Put them like that. Um I need I think three. I need one for low grade, one for mid grade, and one for gold boards. Um so when I start taking these TVs apart I can just throw the uh the boards into the uh totes they go in. Like that one there we go in the first board. That would go in the first one. Go with that one. What the hell is this? Mm, must be a docking station. Or something. Well, it's definitely got a good board in it. Anytime you see the USB ports and the uh, monitor ports. So. Probably a docking station. But yeah, I want to set that up like that. And it's just a lot easier. Um, I couldn't give this motor hoist away, so guess where that's going? Right there. It's going to the scrapyard. And this thing here, my neighbor gave me yesterday. I couldn't figure out what it was until he told me. It's actually a uh, tire breaker, a hand tire breaker. You uh, spin this off. We used to do tires by hand when I was younger. Um, we didn't use this. We just used a uh, an axe with a flat blade on it. But what you do is you put your tire on here. You put this piece here where the uh, the hole is for the where the lug nut would be. So your tire would sit there. You put this on the top of the tire. You put this on there. To hold the tire still. Then you would bring this up, and this would go on the tire, and there would be a pipe on here, and you'd press down, remember this would be up there, then you'd press down on it, and it would break, break the seal on the tire. Then you just flip it over and do the same thing, but that's too much work for my lazy butt. So that's going to the shred pile too. I scrap it all, I don't care. So, that's my update for today guys.
uh, WTF Mike Albrecht. Got you another one. Fresh out the oven. You guys have a good day. Talk to y'all soon.